Hey guys, welcome to today's video. It's your boy the Feist back at it with another game and today we are going to be playing Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, Sekiro, however you want to name it. Yo, just look at that text. You know what we're talking about. But before we get this started, if it's your first time fam, hit, hit, hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Let's get right into it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. What's up guys, it's your boy the Feist and today we are going to be doing the Guardian Ape in Sekiro. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about what we're going to do. So this is a beast type, a lot of people like to use Firecracker. Me personally, I see a lot of hair on a beast like Centipede, uh, the Centipede boss. That If you guys saw the other video, we used Flame Vent because we saw a lot of hair was on him. Same thing with this guy, has a lot of hair so Flame Vent will be very strong. It will be very prevalent in phase 1 so we're going to use that to stun him to maximize as much damage output as we can. Uh, when we first start we're going to jump in with fire and then we're going to do it a second time to get that stun. We could probably get around 30% in so let's see what we can do here guys. And then after that we're going to be very conservative with our fight. We're going to do 2 hits deflect, 2 hits deflect, that kind of thing when he stuns. We're going to try to do as much attacks as possible. There's moments where he will throw a temper tantrum with his feet and legs on the floor. Uh, wait it out. Charge up your sword attack so you can do a little more damage on that hit. Uh, and then that would be pretty much it for phase one. And then phase two, we're going to go as we uh, as we see it happen. All right, here we go, guys. We're going to jump in with one fire. Jump back. We're going to jump with the other fire. Now he's stunned. Try to get as much as we can. He's stunned. That's a good example. Oh, I'm going to eat that. I'm going to eat that. But I did get overzealous. I was supposed to jump back. Charge that up. That's not bad so far. He's 50%. We used one board. But they're really... They're, cheap. they're cheating us out with that. Because we jump to the side and still. We're going to jump forward. Two, do two hits. Jump back. Jump forward, do two hits. He's going to throw a temper tantrum. Just charge up your sword attack. And try to get that hit in. There we go. He's gonna throw his Tempa Tantrum, wait, charge it up, get that hidden. Get the stun out. There we go. And we got the we got the finishing kill on phase one. Phase two we will discuss it shortly guys. But this is how you would do it the first phase. Not too difficult if you get to do that type of attachment. Hit him in the head. Phase two, you kind of have to avoid when he screams. And there's going to be a sword attack where he comes down. That's when you're going to want to care about doing some damage. He does weird swipes here. So you just got to... The timing will be weird. Oh my god, run away, run away. You see, that's that's what we got to run away from, guys. And you got to jump away from that. Woo. That's what you got to hit. Let's see if we can do fire here. Oh my god, like I was... Hmm. You gotta play a little smarter, fam. So I'm gonna use another gourd here. Can we get two hits in on that? Yep, we also gotta be conservative on this one. Run away. I'm looking at the water. Okay. Good. 
good. Three hits is good. That's a win. Run away. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Get like three hits on this, maybe? Four? Four. Maybe you could go for five. Run away. Oh, jump away from that. Get that one charge hit in. Run away. Not bad so far. Not a bad run, guys. We're doing good. Jump away from that. Charge the hit up. Run away. So far, so good. Jump. What's happening here? Maybe that was the one I was supposed to do. Yep. See? Jump. See? Good. Charge up attack. He's gonna just run away from that. It's almost, it's almost like that pattern. As soon as you do that block. Jump. Good. What is he going to do? What is he going to do? Oh, run away from that. That was weird. Run away. Now he's just trying to terror us to death, but it's not gonna happen. Run away, run away, oh my god, oh my god, that was yo, that was our fault. We got rambunctious, fam. We got super rambunctious. Woo. We almost got this. It's, that's it. We just gotta do like two more hits and that's the key. Too. But they made us lose our lock on. Look at that. Now it's that last hit. They don't want us to take it. They don't want us to take it. There it is. And that was pretty much it. Not bad. I mean, we didn't we didn't use our life, and we could have done it so much more better. You saw on phase one how we easily handle it. I started getting a little reckless near the end, but if you can see phase two, you can just easily do that. Like we could have done that way better. But that's pretty much the guide to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed it.
Thank you guys so much for tuning in again. If this is your first time here and you're watching from YouTube, definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you ever come to Twitch, definitely be sure to hit that follow button. Come join us on Discord. The link is below in the YouTube description. Also, last but not least, I want to say major, major, major shout outs to the sponsors. Shout outs to Tuba Cody, Robot Space Ninja, Sweet Venom, Trejanator, Don Vella, and Melfus X for financially supporting the stream. If you guys also wanted to financially support the stream, definitely be sure to check out that YouTube description below. There is a Patreon link. And if you can't support financially, don't worry, guys. There's other ways you can actually show support. That's getting the word out, sharing the content, letting friends and loved ones know about this uh, this channel. Tell them to come and hang out. Come join us on Discord. You will not regret it. It's the best community slash family ever. It says it right there on the freaking board. Yo, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I love you guys so much, and I will catch you guys next time. Let me know in the comments below what you would like to see next, what you think about the video, and so on. I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.